let's um, look at how we solve exercise two for the door simulation. Um, there are three things that are called out here. One is that they're looking for a stop switch. A stop switch is needed because two, we're sealing in the, the circuit for both the open and shut, the open and close. Here, we're going to seal these in so a stop switch is going to be needed. Last, they're looking for um, an ajar um, indicator to be lit when either the door is neither fully up or fully down and it's ajar. So let's look at um, first adding two examinative closed instruction sets in rung, one, rung zero and rung one. Um, and these will be our stop switches. So let's grab our stop, which is a normally closed push button. So if I grab up here, I've already put the symbol in. And it's a normally closed. So this condition is normally satisfied. And if I quickly here just go to download this and run, you notice that both of these are true right now because this is a normally closed stop switch. This is looking for examine if um, true if um, closed. And it is closed. The only time it's going to be false is when it's open, and that's when this stop switch is going to be activated. Secondly, let's seal in the open and close switch. To do that, we're going to have to add a branch Let's go back to the program mode, find our instructions here, and put a branch in um, around our normally open uh, up switch. And we're going to put an instruction set here, examine if closed. And our seal in, pretend there's some auxiliary inputs. It's similar to having auxiliary inputs. Um, or auxiliary, auxiliary um, contacts, I should say, on the motor up motor. Um, let's drag this guy over to here. Now, when this is initially sealed in, this is a momentary switch. This condition is true. This condition will be true. Um, the open limit switch um, will be ha will have to be activated, which means it's anything but fully open. And the we'll make sure that the motor down isn't running. That's this output. Um, and then we'll activate our motor up. But the second somebody releases it, this guy is going to actually take over and create this parallel path of um, logical true to get to this motor up. Um, and we're going to do the same here for the close switch. Let's put a branch around it. Put an examine of closed instruction set to seal in that circuit, an alternate path around this momentary switch. And we'll use this as a, our seal in. OK, so we've got our stop switches. We've sealed in both the open and close. Let's look at the ajar light. Let's think about what ajar is. Ajar means that it's somewhere above this limit switch and somewhere below this limit switch, the upper limit switch. When that condition the ajar condition is um, satisfied is when this guy is not activated and when this guy is activated. So let's put two instruction sets in our empty rung down here at the bottom. Um, this one would be our um, input three and it says examine if closed. Well this is closed anytime it's not open, which means it's ajar. That's half the condition, right, of being ajar, is that this guy is not fully open and it's activated, making this statement true. The opposite, as we said in exercise one, is, is um, the, the lower limit switch is the opposite condition. The only time it's ajar is when it is not activated. So we're going to put a um, examine if open I'm going to put an examine if open down here and bring our lower limit switch or door close limit switch and say um, examine if open. If this guy is open or not activated, it's a jar. So whenever this guy is open or this guy is closed, um, we are a jar. So let's put an output down here and bring our a jar light output lamp um, here 
and that should satisfy that condition. I think we have everything we need now. We have the stop switches. We have sealed in our normally open, um, uh, normally open op um, motor up and motor down, and now we've created a rung here that says anytime limit switch um, upper is not activated and is closed, um, and whenever the lower limit switch is um, I'm sorry, whenever the upper limit switch is activated um, and open, and whenever the lower uh, limit switch is not activated and is closed, these conditions will be true. Um, so let's go ahead and download it. Run, and notice our shut lamp is activated. Um, let's um, Click the open. Let's take our scan time down just a little slower. Click the open. And we've noticed that we I normally I just clicked on the normally open switch for a moment and then the motor up was activated, um, sealing in around my normally open open switch. If I go to close this, the same is true here. Notice my input 1.1 um, is activated. I release it. And it's still allowing logical truth to get to the motor down until the limit switch is activated. And, and notice now um, the ajar light happens anytime I'm midpoint. These two conditions are satisfied right now. Why? Because input 1.3 says examine if closed. Well, it's not closed, it's actually activated opening it right now. This is not activated and is closed. And this guy says, examine if open. Well, it, I'm sorry, yeah, examine if open, and it is open right now. Um, and this guy is um, um, a, a normally open switch. It's activated, it's closed. This is a normally open switch. It's not activated, um, so it's open. This open satisfies this condition. This closed satisfies this condition. Our JR lamp is um lit until either one of those conditions like when it's fully open no longer true or fully closed no longer true that's um, exercise two for the door simulation uh, if you have any questions feel free to contact me